Hello everyone. Today we are gonna try some alligator beef jerky. Okay, let's do the hello. So one of my coworkers went to New Orleans and got some of this. She tried um, fried alligator. It said it tastes tastes good. like chicken. Probably does. I don't know. Don't know what happened. Oh. Okay, come on. You can try a little piece. Can I come in the camera? Pretty good. What it tastes like? It tastes like real beef jerky. There you go, Jazz. Get it. Eat that gator. Mmm, that's some good gator, ain't it? Oh. You can really taste the pork in this. So apparently this is also mixed with pork too. Pork and alligator. It's gator pork. It's a pork See, gator. I, I like it. It's a pork gator? Yeah, because you can eat it. Oh, you got it? Yeah. Do you have it? Make it out with Make it slang it out with Go metallic knife. I can shake it. I'm sitting right here. I'm sitting where I'm sitting. <laughs> and what? Look at well, the matching flip flops. So Does this look familiar? Now I say which one's real, which one's fake? Mm. Which one? Raheem, which one's real? Which one's fake? This one's fake. This one's real. <laughs> hey, you supposed to let people um, guess that. I'm going to get my um, vacuum on the camera, bro. I don't understand. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of hard what not to What is this, Raheem? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? 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 You don't think nobody will swipe left or right? Which way? <laughs> swipe right. She is in a committed swipe relationship. Right. Swipe right, they be like, ooh, that girl. Oh, she got high. She, she got she got metal. I didn't get my hand. I'm about to swipe right. I'm about to swipe right. right. <laughs> uh, all right, all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got that. I got that. <laughs> <laughs> also, drink of choice of tonight is this rose. Bro, hit, hit him with the dab. Oh. 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 Hit him with the dab. Oh. 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 Hit him with the dab. No. Uh. You want to show off your moves? That thing is on me. Oh, God, get it. 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 Just y'all too. He's, he's the yang to my ying. Yeah, oh, yeah. that was the yin. Yin, 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 Jasmine. Why is this bad? Jasmine. The confrontation. You are not about to chug that. No. I'm do it like how mom no. used to do it. No. Oh, yeah. I got to do it like my mama. <laughs> I got to do it like my mama. You know you used to chug stuff back in the day. Your mom's never been a chugger. I, no. No. That's back when we was babies. I love her. You know, no. but some people right. here think they can out drink me. I wonder who that is. Don't chug it, <laughs> All right, since I can't chug, I'll do a little review on this. So this is <laughs> a nice little rose. I thought it was rose beer because I. Hmm? What? What? Yeah, uh, I am. You know hey, what? I don't want me into that category. There you go, There you go, Okay, so this this is a rose. I thought it was rose so beer. So do y'all want to read this movie or not? Yes. Yes. You're I'm ruining her review right now. Can we so, do that later? Overall, no. this is a dry and sour. This is lively rosé. Has a cool. notes of strawberry, key lime, rose water, and hints of ripe peach and watermelon. Can't wow. taste none of that! Amazing. Amazing. Absolutely you can't amazing. Taste none of it? What do you taste? I taste fruit. Oh, <laughs> hit it, Jazz. Hit it, Jazz. Hit it, Jazz. Hit it, Jazz. What kind of fruit? You just broke somebody in jail. Oh, the peach and strawberry. All right, you guys, you guys put it on already? Yeah. My sister's yeah. over here trying to chug. And you guys are doing it. Bang! Get order! Get order! Hey. Control, the the house. Control the house! Control the house! When's the last time you controlled the house? Hey, you know what? 
What's happening? That's oh. why she got away with it. Because we doing shit like that. We were just talking about it's the fucking movie. And she snuck it on y'all. Because <laughs> <laughs> everybody else is talking. Hey, cut the cameras. Cut the cameras. <laughs> Dead Set ass. Cut the cameras. Dead ass. Good morning, Baltimore. Wow. Hello. How do you wake up just doing that? <laughs> yeah, who does that? Have you not seen my vlogmas? Hey, I have to do this. In the, in the morning. Girl, hmm? why don't you just braid it? Just just, you don't know how girl, to braid. Yeah. You really don't know how to braid. So. Girl. Who are you talking? Girl. Talking to you. Girl. Y'all think y'all grown? Y'all still can get ass. You think you grown? I ain't grown. No, you not. How old are you? <laughs> I'm not sitting there on camera. <laughs> <laughs> you already know you in your forties. Oh, no. <laughs> no. That's what the sister. Fifties? No. Sixties? No, mom. You looking? You looking good for your sixties? <laughs> Do you want tea? Make it happen. Do you want tea? Coffee? Make it happen. Do you want coffee? Oh yeah, got coffee. They got coffee. They got orange juice and coffee. Coffee. So no coffee tea. Coffee is good. Huh? No tea. Oh, you want tea? Let's go behind the bar and give me a. <laughs> So right now I'm about to put on a face mask and I thought why don't I put on a face mask on camera and just tell you guys how what's been going on basically. The face mask that I'm putting on is by I Do Care Kitten Sugar Kitten which is a peel off face mask and the start of 2020 has basically been a lot for me. and. Normally, when it's the beginning of the year, it's, it's never really like the greatest for me, to be honest, because mostly it will like be drama happening in my life, unfortunately, except for last year. I think last year I just got sick in the beginning of the year, and unfortunately I got sick again at the beginning of this year. But some of the things that I've been dealing with was one, my aunt had um, some issues with her body which she had to be submitted into the hospital and had to undergo a seven hour surgery and there was a 10% chance that she was going to live and luckily she made it within that 10%. That was a lot to deal with. Um, in my mind I knew that she was going to be okay because um, that's how I think whenever like a family member or a friend is in a critical condition like that i always put in my mind that they're gonna be okay because i don't want to have to basically be paranoid and have to think about the worst because if i start thinking like oh she can like she's definitely not gonna make it out of that surgery then i'm just gonna let the negative thoughts go through and then you know what you put out is gonna come back and if I kept putting out that she's not going to make it, then it would have been a chance that she wasn't going to make it. Even though I didn't express as much concern as like my other people in my family, I didn't want to let the negative thoughts get to me. So I constantly told myself that she's going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay and everything like that. And luckily she was. She is, um, she's not fully recovered. She's recovering pretty fast and she's doing pretty good, which is nice. So while she was in the hospital and recovering and doing all that stuff, uh, we had to watch her son, which was also pretty hard because we are in a household of full grown adults and we 
don't really deal with children all like that like all of my little cousins are like adolescent or preteens they're not like actual little kids anymore and even uh well except for one one is a, a little kid um but even so we don't deal with kids like 24 7 we only deal with them like for a couple hours um so having him in the household for like basically three weeks was it was a little bit challenging and then we had her my aunt stayed with us for a week just to kind of recover and recoup and that was also a challenge too because um since she had fluid in her lungs i believe um they had to because they cut her basically they did a hysterectomy on her and they did a whole bunch of other stuff that was like really gross and like every time i think about it i just gag um but they had to leave a part uh a little hole underneath her stomach open so they can suck the little fluids out and she had a tube going through it and she's not the most graceful person in the world she's kind of rough actually um so we thought that it was gonna like fall out or pop out and like everything was just gonna flow out and I was just... needless to say she is back at home she's still recovering everything's all good but that was three long weeks of just challenges lots and lots of challenges and speaking of which i've been having challenges with my body um i don't know what's what's been going on but i've been experiencing this since uh the end of last year where i just would get like like short of breath and nausea and well i've been mainly getting nausea after i eat and that's pretty common i think that's because of my my birth control one thing i fear is like my body just giving out on me so i was scared about that so i have been basically doing i've been doing a whole ton of research and i'm still um confused about what to really do i actually do need to go to the doctor so when i do go get my birth control i will go to the doctors and talk to them about it but i have been trying to incorporate a lot more stuff into my body like i've been drinking a lot of tea with uh turmeric turmeric has a lot of health benefits to it i've been taking some probiotics um i've been really trying to get into kombucha but you know kombucha is really hard to get into it's an acquired taste and it's really weird because i can drink sour beer i can drink apple cider vinegar if it's diluted with water but kombucha is so hard to get into for me um but i'm still trying because I, I i like the benefits it has probiotics in it prebiotics and i think antioxidants in it I think the biggest thing is that I just need to get more sleep or just like actually fully fall asleep so I just need to work on that but so far since I have been um, incorporating things into my body I have been feeling a whole lot better and the one thing that I was concerned is that when I wasn't feeling the greatest like there was this one beginning of this year in January um, it was this one week where I just kind of overworked myself and I just did not feel the greatest at all. My body was just feeling so tired and it basically felt like it was just gonna, just, I was just gonna break down. And like, I don't want my body to feel like that because when your body, when you, when your body is tired, your immune system basically shuts down or kind of like lowers itself and you you can get sick easier since it's still the flu season i don't want that to happen i've also been taking emergency a lot too um which is a whole bunch of vitamin c i've been taking a lot of vitamin c too it's, it's really hard dealing with people because when i commute everyone had the flu on the ferry and then people at my job were sick with the flu and they were coughing out in the open and that's just the most disgusting thing ever that's why whenever i see people coughing especially on the ferry i give them the stink eye and i just hope that they feel better so that way they don't really get me sick and they don't get anyone else sick 
and yeah i did get a, a uh, not a sheet mask a face mask the beginning of flu season to avoid that situation and i haven't been consistent of wearing it which is why i got sick um but when i was sick i did wear it to avoid getting other people sick and avoid getting me even more sick which was really nice i did go on amazon to see if i can buy more face mask like kind of a different variety because i seen someone at the nail salon wear one and hers looked like it was a thicker fabric because i have a fabric one and it, hers looked like it was a thicker fabric and i really liked it a lot and i didn't want to ask her where she got it from because it would have been weird so i went on amazon to see if there were any and it is, it's, it, everything was sold out and it was mainly because of the whole coronavirus situation which i totally understand so i've been getting a little bit annoyed just because of the fact that not a lot of people or not especially not a lot of news outlets are um keeping track of or not showing the amount of people that have recovered because there's a lot of people that has recovered from this virus compared to the amount of people that's catching it you know they keep adding on to the amount of cases and they're not subtracting from the uh amount of people that's getting it and the amount of people that's recovering from it like when this virus started to become like very big and started spreading a lot throughout china i did do some research about it because when i heard about it i thought it was going to be like the ebola situation like you was going to hear about it and next thing you know it's it's gone because like i heard about the ebola virus and then all of a sudden it, it, i didn't hear anything else but as like it started to spread throughout China and started becoming a little bit more serious. I started to do a little bit more research and I found that, you know, it is a virus and what a virus basically does is it breaks down your immune system and it just basically does like a lot of things to your body. I'm not a doctor, but I basically know that's what it, it, it starts to do is it breaks down your immune system for you to get basically weaker. And I found that it is similar to, it's not exactly similar, but it is similar to the flu virus. And you know, the flu comes seasonal. Like once it starts getting colder, everyone starts to get the flu and get sick. And what I found is, is that like, and I didn't even notice that like there's flu kills about 10,000 per season that might not be completely accurate but it does kill a lot of people like recently a little girl just died from the flu and unfortunately she didn't have health care and her parents couldn't afford health care but she died from it and that's really unfortunate and in the coronavirus I believe it's the death toll is either 2,900 or 3,000 by now, which is not really a lot in my opinion compared to the seasonal flu. And um, the amount of people that has recovered from the coronavirus is, is quite a lot. Like I follow this website that keeps track of the coronavirus as the grand total of cases. And then it has like a map of like all of like the countries that and states that has the coronavirus and the amount of people that in the uh, states that recovered the people that recovered in the states and so far right now there is over 40,000 42,000 people have recovered from this virus which is a, a lot compared to like yesterday yesterday i checked and it was 39,000 and now it's 42,000 which is really it's really good and then like the total amount of cases is 86,000 so they keep track of the amount of cases and they will keep showing this number that is 80,000 or so um it might be a little bit more it might be a little bit less because of course we don't know the exact number of how many people have it or not but looking at that makes me feel a whole lot better about this whole entire situation because every time i go online either like on like a, a website or on twitter and something like that there's people freaking out about this virus which i totally understand because it's a new virus and there's not a vaccine and unfortunately a vaccine won't be 
like finish until next year or a year and a half and so I understand that but this kind of sucks because not a, not a lot of people are showing like hope about it you know I just wish there was a little bit more positivity and a little bit more hope but like the whole media kind of just portraying this, this situation um especially the amount of people that's recovered like i really wish that they would show more of that rather than more like they focus more on the death tolls they focus more of then the basically the negativity and like the people that are freaking out about it and i just want there to be more hope because to me i'm not scared of the coronavirus if it does come to the united states and hit us heavy then i'm not scared of of it at all from looking at the amount of people that has recovered i do believe that this situation will be resolved soon um it's not gonna go away completely forever because no virus no disease goes away forever especially the flu virus now that comes seasonal and that has a vaccine and people still die from it so but i do know that this situation will be a little bit more tamed soon but I, I just will continue to pray on it and to send out positivity and hope that this situation will be tamed and basically everyone will recover from it soon i did watch a little docs and series about um a couple in um i think they were in wuhan i'm not for sure um but they're somewhere in china and this man his wife was a nurse and she was treating people with the coronavirus and unfortunately she got it and just basically just watching their routine and what he had to go through like he had to suit up basically in his own home and quarantine his whole entire house and her uh had to put her in a separate room quarantine his her room and cook her food leave it by the door for her to get it quarantine that area too it was just it was pretty sad and it was very heartbreaking because like i i because like thinking about it i don't know what they're really going through because i'm not out there and i didn't really have like a kind of like a visual of it until i saw that series and i had a visual of what they're basically dealing with like their city is basically locked down they can't really leave to go anywhere they can't go shopping like they have to rely on their property managers or management to basically get them food to get them like toothpaste and basically daily necessities like and their son doesn't even live with them they have a, like a little son and he has to live with his grandparents and he doesn't understand what's going on and it was just it was heartbreaking like i started crying because i was just so heartbroken about it and so my heart goes out to just everyone that's just out there in asia and in europe um who's just who's just going out there like that i really do hope that this virus just kind of just pass by like the wind no 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 that's mainly it you know it's just a whole lot basically a whole lot you know it's not good it's not bad it's just a lot